And as climate change continues to impact life forms around the world, conservationists are concerned about the dwindling numbers of the North Sea puffins. In the Isle of May, off the east coast of Scotland, the isle is home to one of the UK's biggest colonies of seabirds. However, recent numbers have sparked quite an alarm. Let's take a look at our next report to find out more. Around 200,000 birds from Kitty Wakes to Guillemots flocked the rocky outcrop in the Isle of May at the height of the breeding season. However, conservationists are raising a valid concern over the shrinking population of one of the island's most distinctive visitors. That is the Atlantic puffin. We've got some big concerns about puffins on the Isle of May. The population was really booming in the 80s and 90s, and then suddenly a crash. We lost nearly 30% of all puffins in the mid-2000s. There are similar concerns being raised on the Farn Islands, just over 80 kilometres down the coast of North Humberland in northeast England. The reasons for decline on both the islands are the same. With global warming, high winds, rains, coastal erosion, pollution and overfishing of sand, eels being blamed for the slump. So if uh, sea temperature rises, um, the sand eel populations will go further north to cooler waters where they're more productive and this will cause the puffin populations to move further north. On a meadow on one of the Farn Islands, rangers slide their arms into arrow sandy burrows for signs of nesting pairs of puffins. This is the best known method to keep a check on the total number of puffins since these birds are mostly under the ground. We'll have 50 plots uh, based all around the island and any burrows that come into that area will we'll then um, put our arms down any of the burrows so um, quite often you'll get a bit of a nip or um, which is a good sign because it means then that burrow is occupied. In the year 2015, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature gave puffins the vulnerable status after large declines of much of the European range. Puffins mate for life and lay a single egg in April or May. This is due to their low reproductive rate. Populations can take decades to recover from a sudden knock. Concerns were raised last year when a limited count recorded 36,211 breeding pairs across four of the Farn Islands. This number is lower compared to 42,474 pairs in the year 2018. And due to these concerns, a full puffin census is being carried out on the Farn Islands and the Isle of May this year. The census will give scientists a picture of how the puffin population is being affected by factors such as climate change and local changes in sand eel availability. Although there is no immediate danger of the puffins becoming extinct, the fact that their numbers are falling is a cause for concern. And with declining numbers, it becomes very important to take measures to check any further fall in their population. We report, We On World is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.